Your time now is 950 as we take this live look over downtown Detroit. It is Saturday, December 9th, maybe one of the last days you won't need to bundle up. We are sitting in the 50s today. Let's get a look at the full forecast with 7 First Alert meteorologist Hallie Vogel. I know when I talk about the upper 50s to around 60, it's almost like disbelief. Really? Yeah, but you know what? The belief is it only lasts for a day. So there you go. <laughs> Reality sets in pretty quickly when our temperatures drop tonight into the 30s. And some of us may even stay in the upper 30s for highs tomorrow. It's seasonable weather. That's that's typically what we see for this time in December, but we'll see if we either match or break a record high today. 58 is the record that was set back in 1946. Tracking rain today, it's going to come in waves. It's not going to be all day, so you're going to have that time to get outdoors. It is going to be quite gusty. I will stress that it is a windy day and then a few flurries or even a light rain snow mix in a couple of pockets for Sunday as another cold front comes through and that'll keep our temperatures on the colder side as we start the week or at least closer to average 50 right now in Detroit and overcast and our wind is out of the south at 13 miles per hour. 48 are low this morning. 27 is an average low. So even when we talk about the colder air tonight, it's still going to be above average. 39 is an average high. So our temperatures are going to be close to 20 degrees above average as we go through the day today. Seeing the rain showers very light off to our north and west along with those wind advisories. You can see the wind advisories from Jackson to Lansing on up to Flint and the northern thumb. It is going to be windy here in Metro Detroit, just not quite matching that criteria for a wind advisory. We do pump in a little bit more moisture with a few showers this afternoon. It'll come and go in waves and then it'll start to push to the east by the evening along with this cold front behind the cold front. You know the difference because out ahead of it, temperatures are in the 50s behind it, 20s and 30s. So it will impact our temperatures. And I started saying that this evening into tonight. So we're at 51 degrees in Ann Arbor, 50 in Pontiac, also Port Huron and Mount Clemens with those south winds. These are gusts right now, so gusts close to 30. We're at 29 in Adrian and Windsor, 23 mile per hour wind gusts in Ann Arbor, and that does continue for the rest of the morning into the afternoon. Once the front passes through, that's when we see our winds start to drop off. So hour by hour forecast shows those temperatures rising. We're talking mid to upper 50s, a few scattered showers coming through right around lunchtime. As we get closer to the evening after about five or six o'clock, it's going to be forced a little bit further eastward, but still I think parts of Metro Detroit will start seeing at least some of that rain or continue seeing it while areas to the west of Detroit will start to dry out. The secondary front comes through tomorrow. This will spin through a couple of these flurries, light snow showers, or in some cases with temperatures in the upper 30s to low 40s could be a bit of a mix of light rain and snow. Temperatures start colder on Monday. We'll stay in the 30s, around 40 on Tuesday, and then actually our temperatures rising by the end of the week, those highs in the mid 40s. We'll be back after the break.